This is McCook's Mr. Bilson. Honored to have you here. Last night I got an email from Facebook saying that I had said a comment that was inappropriate for their standards of Facebook. And so they were taking it down and suspending my ability to use Facebook. Okay. They did leave an out though by saying you may object if you wish. Why not object? So I did. And I was surprised though, within an hour, I got another email from them saying, uh, we were wrong. Sorry about that. Your comment was not against our standards or our criteria uh, that are required. And so we are putting your comment back up and we are also uh, opening up your account again. Interesting, huh? Yeah, I assume that's going to get more and more prevalent. Absolutely, as the Democrat side takes over and they only want to hear their side or nothing whatsoever that might counter or look outside the box rather than what the Democrat preach and worship. Okay, we can live with that, I guess, if we have to. And I had a worse time with YouTube way back. And YouTube uh, suspended my account for a while and they put me on probation, if you will, and uh, for six months because I had uh, said, uh, you know, radical, something radical, and which I hadn't, but there was no way to even counter it and just takes one person and they believe that person rather than to even check into your system at that time. And I was very frustrated, almost walked away from YouTube back then because of that. I didn't. But uh, needless to say, not the first time. And again, when you have the power of an entity, and it's a business, it's not the government, it's an entity, you kind of got to bow to their whims. But at the same time, uh, unless they're just going to be one-sided hypocrites, they really need to hear both sides. As long as, and I preach this, no cussing, no degrading the other side or uh, calling them names, and no uh, push of violence. Now, of course, I say that you can defend yourself, absolutely, or your friends. Or better yet, if it gets testy, you just block whoever's coming at you so that they can't cause you any more trouble. But needless to say, that was an interesting thing in my first battle with Facebook in which they admitted they were wrong. They admitted they were wrong. Stand up for your right and your freedoms. I don't pretend to always be right, but I believe I have the right to speak. As long as I do it within limits, I have no problems with anybody speaking. Thank you for your time. God bless the Republic.